James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today I have a little unboxing of a new computer case. This is from Fantex. This is their Ethanol Evolve IFTX. So this is for their mini IFTX boards. This is their tempered glass version. They come in three colors. It comes in black. It comes in black and red. And then it comes in Arctic white, I believe. This right now, the black and red version is about 80, I think it's $80 on Amazon. It's uh, the white version is about 88 bucks. So, you know, it's, it ranges in price. You may find it cheaper out there. That's just what the prices I'm going by. <coughs> Apologize, I've been sick. Now this does have a 240 millimeter fan in the front, but I'll show you guys that in a little bit when we get this out. You know, on the box it shows you, you know, the case. Just a little glimpse of it. Like I said, this is tempered glass, so the whole sides are tempered. It is powder coated that I believe. On the back side over here, it shows you a little diagram. Hope you guys can see this. Shows you every piece that comes out, like the PSU, you know, SSD slides. Your uh, filters for cleaning. Top great for the right or for the fans. You know, more fans. And the symbols, which is pretty cool. On the side, it gives you the specifications, like the two USB 3.0s that are on the front. Um, let's see what it says. The case dimensions 230 millimeters by 375 millimeters by 390, 395. Now, I don't know all this off the top of my head. I just got this. I was a little sick for the last couple of weeks, so I just wanted to get it out real quick for you guys. Um, it does have a mic and headphone uh, plugs on the front does have a reset power buttons on the top like the regular uh, Evolve um, case I have for my ATX board. Cooling, it says 120 millimeter fans by two on the front, two on the top, or one in the rear, or 140 millimeters fans, two front, two uh, top, and one rear included. So it does have a fan included. It says 200 millimeter by one. It does not say it's included on the box, but on the online on the on the website it does say it's included. So we're gonna go with it's included. It may not be included if it's not included. You know, it's gonna be hard for me to come up with some fans for this case right away. I mean, I could probably purchase some, but I'm a little you know low on funds. So liquid cooling, you know, 120 millimeter rad up to 240 millimeters. So you can go from 140 millimeter rad up to 280 in the top. You can go to 240 in the front or 120 in the rear. You know, graphics cards, normal 330 millimeter graphics cards will fit. CPUs, you know, all the normal stuff. We're going to pop it open for you guys. We're going to hope that this case made it and travel without breaking. Because unfortunately, sometimes UPS drivers are not the best at delivering these without breaking them. Now if you guys give me a second, I will try and get this out without breaking it for you. You know, I will flip it over as you guys can see. It's a little, you know, styrofoam and stuff holding it in. We're going to try and flip this without falling out. Pop the other side. And we are out. And I was shocked myself, so good thing I'm not building a computer today. A lot of static electricity in the house. You know, we'll pop the one side off, pop the other side off, and there is the case. I'm going to set the box to the side. We're going to try to flip it over. Pull some of this off. So there we have the case itself. As you can see, this is the black and red version. It is glass. It does have the little clingy stuff. I'm going to leave that on until I actually build this. But I will unscrew these thumb screws if I can without dropping and breaking this. It is tempered glass, so be careful. If you hit this on something, it may pop and shatter. So there's your glass, it's off. I'm gonna set this over here on my counter. 
Now, like I said, inside here you have the little fancy you know, logo. They do have a plastic little piece on it to cover it so you don't scratch it up. I'm going to pull that off. Hope you guys can see this case. I love the color. The black and red is, is great. I'd love to see this in maybe a white and blue or even a black and blue. Thumb screws, if you want to take the stand off, this is, uh, you can put an SSD up here or you can put your liquid cooling, your graphics card can slide in here. You have your holes for your cable management, same here. Your PSU, you know, cover, it's not fully shrouded, so you will still see your PSU through the power supply through the front. I'm going to take the back off if I can. It is actually rather tight. I actually have a screwdriver close by, so I'm not too worried. I will flip this around so you guys can see. It has just the two normal thumb screws. Now that that's off, we'll set those down too. Pull this off. Just a normal aluminum door in black. Now on the back, you guys can see some of the headers, the, you know, your normal US3, HD audio, power, reset, and microphones down there, I believe, and fan. Now as I can see, it only has the back fan. It does not have the 200 millimeter fan like it states on their website. So I may question that just some more clarification for you guys. Back here, you have another, you know, SSD slot. You also have two drawers for SSDs or hard drives. In this drawer comes, if we can get it out, your accessory box. In the accessory box, wire ties, screws, you know, attention for RMA request. You know, email, stuff like that. Right here is the removal tools. Shows you everything that should be the panels, how to hook it up, and stuff like that. Stuff I will get into if I do a full build and the review for you guys. This is pretty much just an unboxing, so I wanted you guys to see what came with it. We're probably going to break this down a little more for you guys. So you guys can see a little more. I'm going to put that back. You have the Velcro zip ties for the wires with their logo, which is pretty cool. Nice cable management. Now, I don't know if you guys have known, but on the front, pretty much just right down here, it comes off. Here's your tray. This is where the LED light goes through, right there. Now, my bigger case came with a whole bunch of LED bulbs, so you can change colors. This one does not. Not a big deal. Not a, not a disadvantage or selling point. Right here's your, you know, your filter. Nice and easy to clean. This is where you put your 240 millimeter fan that did not come with this. I would have loved to see them throw that in there. But it didn't. Oh well. Not a big deal. You, if you want to mount other smaller fans, you mount them right here or your radiator. So that's pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, to connect the top fans or the top radiator, there are a couple screws right here. We'll just pop that out and I'll show you guys real quick. I believe it's just one side if it's like my other case. It is, am I missing a screw? I don't know if I'm missing a screw here. I don't think I'm missing a screw. For some reason it's not wanting to pop out and I don't want to bend it on camera. But it's pretty much just them two screws. Like I said, I'll get more into that if I build. But right there is where you connect it. Pretty simple. I'm going to put it back together.
So you have enough slots to put, you know, a few SSDs and HDs into this. See if I can get this screwed back in. Not too much of a hassle. So that's the case. Now, you, as you can see, it's powder coated red. Even the, the fin covers up here for the air vents are red. Awesome job, great color. So that's the Fantex Evolve Tempered Glass ITX case. It, like I said, it's about 80 bucks. I'll leave the link down in the description for you. And uh, thank you for checking out my unboxing of the case. And uh, keep your eyes out for more on dragonblogger.com to come.